Welcome to my channel. My name is Alexis, and in this video, we're going to be talking about arts and entertainment. There's high praise for the arts and entertainment for good reason. Music, literature, painting, sculpture, theater, film, video games, and dance, they're all fundamental expressions of our human experience, most tracing their origins back to the beginning of civilization. The fact of the matter is that we have the capacity to express ourselves in a number of different ways, to, to convey messages and provide insights about our condition that are both moving and remain with us till the end of time. Art and entertainment have always been a critical part of society. In modern times, we know artists as people who are capable of soothing our souls, touching us to the core with representations of what we think, feel, or do that let us fully appreciate or condemn the activities of our world. The ancient Greeks believed that good art expressed an ideal form and harmonic composition, where all of its parts were balanced with one another. We still seem to think that nowadays. Good art incorporates all of the aspects inherent in a, in a work into unique arrangements that can facilitate a cathartic experience. Catharsis is the key characteristic of good art, its ability to provoke a strong emotional response and release. Without art, our days would meander without novelty. There would be nothing to inspire us to pursue our endeavors or define our own experiences through lens other than our own. Life would be boring. Thanks to artists and entertainers, our days are filled with a little more light, helping us take our minds off the mundanity of our day-to-day -day tasks and relieve our tensions with creative flourishing. Art has evolved over time, and it continues to evolve even now. And yet, there are works that will remain with us forever, from the Mona Lisa to the David. This means that there is a consensus about what makes art good and worthwhile, valuable and iconic. There are aesthetic markers to look for. But outside of classical masterpieces, art is an open concept. It is neither hard to do nor definitive in its nature. Skill and talent in any arena lend itself to the production of artistic works of great caliber. All it takes is for one person to notice the significance of the work for it to become a mainstream success. Just take Andy Warhol, for example. The object of our society's ideal is the creation of a highly advanced people each specializing in one field of knowledge, as we've mentioned, but each also expressing their knowledge artistically through at least one artistic modality or canvas. To get to this end, we need to recognize the importance of supporting the arts and the importance of prompting others to fame with works that are conducive to the principles we want to channel in our world. Principles that are based on love and charity, peace and truth, righteousness and virtue, etc. While we should have a diversity of views articulated in the many arts out there, as many as possible, and while we should be willing to entertain all kinds of audiences, we should not be interested in losing touch with who we are or who we want to become. Art isn't a medium of expression. It's a gateway to life. It can color your mood and impress your senses for the good or the bad. And that's all I had to say about arts and, and entertainment. If you had anything else to add to the discussion, please go ahead and enter a comment in the comments below. If you like the video, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great one.